Hello and hi everybody, welcome back to another one at this time. I'm here with another one from SMO Theory, and this one, oh boy, this one's gonna definitely fucking trigger boil my fucking blood. This one is, how many ex-boyfriends does Rose have? We all know Rose is for the streets. She's pretty much fucked almost every new character guy that comes on uh, to the show. Like literally every new character, almost every new character that's a fucking guy apparently rose is fam familiar with she slept with him she had some sort of relationship with the dude and like this has been going on for fucking years dude years like how many fucking ex-boyfriends does this fucking slut have H how big is her puss hole how big is her fucking pussy because she probably has had multiple dicks up. Okay, I'm going to get this video demonetized. I'm just, I'm sorry. Every time I hear about Rose and her ex-boyfriends, my blood just gets fucked. It starts boiling. So, all right. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. We're not, we're, we're, we're not reacting to a Rose documentary. We're just going through her ex-boyfriends. And I unfortunately crush, unfortunately crush my new favorite character. Why did I do uh, uh, My new favorite character, Crush, unfortunately, Rose had some sort of relationship with him. And he even gave her the name uh, Gagger, whatever the fuck. Something along the lines of Gag in his dick. So, yeah. <laughs> That's like, that was like the one downside when like I found out that Crush was actually, I guess, one of Rose's ex boyfriends. It, it seems like it. But I still love Crush. I, I still want SMO to bring it back. Okay, I'm making this intro too long. <laughs> if you haven't yet subscribed to SMO Theory, be sure to go subscribe. The link to will be in the, the link to the original is in the description down below. So with that being said, let's get into this. Have you ever wondered how many ex-boyfriends does Rose have? Well, she's I don't had a know. lot of them over the years before meeting Mario, and they even appear in SML videos month after month. Starting off with her first and most well-known is Super, Super D. D. It's unknown how they met, but we do know how they broke up. In SML movie Jeffy's 16th birthday, the doorbell rings and Rosalina answers it and sees that it's her ex, Super D. After some small talk, she for some reason invites him inside, and Mario really doesn't like that Rosalina's ex-boyfriend is in their house but then super d uses his cake powers to turn jeffy's cupcakes into a huge cake and jeffy gets all happy and mario asks why they broke up and rosalina explains that he was always gone trying to save the world and that they're on good terms now and are friends but i wouldn't be surprised if rosalina was cheating on mario based on the way that they act around each other what is super d i'm not surprised super dumb well, Rosalina gave me the name, actually. What? Yeah, I don't really know what it stands for, though, because my name's Zach. We thought about going with Zach Attack, but then... Yeah, we went on one date, and she wanted to call me Super D afterward. Actually, now that I think about it, all the women I go out on dates with want to call me Super D. Well, I mean, I do have Mrs. Incredible powers from the waist down, so I'm very tall. Super D, unlike some of Rosalina's exes, is just really cocky and disrespectful to Mario and is always trying to steal Rosalina back, like an SML movie Jeffy's Big Idea, where Super D and Simmons are talking about how he sold Mario a fake star, and Simmons is gonna steal Rosalina's purse as soon as they go out to look for it, and Super D will beat up Simmons so that apparently he'll save Rosalina. And so, when Simmons tries to steal Rosalina's purse, Mario does absolutely nothing, and and Super D arrives Mario. and fake punches Simmons, making him slam against the wall. And Mario, there's a way you can prove to Rose that you're not a little pussy and that you deserve her. But no, you just stood there and you gave Rosalina more of a, more of a reason to go with her ex-boyfriends than you pass out. Rosalina then gets mad at Mario for not doing anything to help her and Super D and Rosalina go inside which is exactly what Super D wanted and this was his attempt of trying to steal Rosalina from Mario. Thankfully it didn't work as Mario also hired Simmons to get fake punched. Now moving on to one of her more popular exes and one that I actually like which is D, D Money. Money. Rosalina met D Money at his first fight on a one round knockout and he got crowned superstar and Rosalina went crazy for him because it was a super her star title and we all know that rosalina likes stars to the point she even followed him to his house and they dated for five years but they broke up because d money started making a hundred million dollars every night and d money had a lot of girls so he couldn't just have rosalina trying to tie him down but right mm -hmm. now once again they're on good terms but when we first saw d money mario and rosalina answer the door and he immediately knocks out mm -hmm. mario and then he hugs rosalina which is a little bit interesting and after this mario told black that he Imagine dating somebody and then you hear a knock at the door, you go to answer it, 
it's their ex and your partner goes and hugs their ex when they they see each other for the first time in a long time no you're not supposed to do that no like you two are broken up for a reason fuck that if i ever see my ex at the door i'll be like what the fuck what are you doing here get out of here <laughs> i'm not gonna go in for a fucking hug it's a fight, D-Money. Well, uh, Rosalie and his ex-boyfriend's over. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You say ex-boyfriend? Yeah. And he came over to the house? Yeah. Rosalina said she missed him and then that she wanted to catch up. Hold up. Rosalina. She misses, misses him. Her ex -boyfriend. Misses her. She said she her. wanted to catch up with him and, and that, like, you know, they haven't talked in years. But they dated for five years, Black Yoshi. Mario, you don't just date somebody for five years and not have any feelings for him. Right? Yes. The thing is, True. He's black. He's black. He's bled. Yes. He's bled. <laughs> no, no. So Black Yoshi ah. trained him, and after a few more training sessions, Mario was finally ready to beat D-Money. He then went into the living room and told him that he wants to fight him. And then D-Money accepts, and after a few losses on Mario's end, D-Money just let Mario win out of respect. <laughs> I guess, like, D-Money is the, is the only, one of the only ex-boyfriends I respect. I hope nobody hits my blindside. <laughs> D-Money is actually respectful and yeah. humble, unlike Dak, who Rosalina dated when she was a cheerleader in high school, and Dak was a football player and still is to this day. But he's not even good at it anymore. He always blames his ankle for him playing bad. He also seems to be very full of himself, thinking that he's the best, when he's really not. He gets annoyed with others extremely easily and likes to hit on girls all the time. He's not really that smart and tries to act cool around others, but SML later confirms that he doesn't really have any friends. He somewhat gets along with Mario, but Mario still hates him, and Dak mm. tends to act cocky around him, and he even tried to steal Rosalina once. Of That's course. the movie The Unretirement, when Dak randomly comes over and Rose asks Dak what he's doing there. And Dak tells her that he came to see if she would finally dump Marvin for him. And surprisingly, Rose actually turned him down. So surprisingly. Right now, they're on bad terms. Her next ex-boyfriend is Randy. Now, mm. Randy would sell candy to other students for a dollar. However, he for some reason had hatred towards Brooklyn Guy, and instead made Brooklyn Guy pay two dollars which angered brooklyn guy into wiping his booger on his face which caused randy to challenge him to an after school fight and during the fight everyone was rooting for randy as he beat up brooklyn guy and after successfully defeating him he took brooklyn guy's underwear and hung it to a pole which causes everyone to sing the pledge of allegiance to it for some random reason embarrassing brooklyn guy <laughs> and at some point during his life he sold candy at a gas station and caught the attention of rose who started dating him shortly afterwards Why? However, their relationship didn't last long and they broke up. So Randy is actually Brooklyn Guy's bully and Brooklyn Guy is permanently scared of Randy but with Rose or maybe all girls he dated her all because he was nice and gave her candy. And if you didn't know Rosalina actually dated Shrek once in SML movie Shrek's coma. Yep. The doctor said that his brain was still working but it was unknown how fast Shrek will wake up from his cheesecake induced coma. Mario then suggests that he switches bodies with another corpse that just came in. Brooklyn Guy then said okay and then told Mario to way back at home and back on the couch they're really sad for shrek because they don't know if he's gonna come out of his coma but then brooklyn guy later brings shrek and tells them to admire his new body and mario and rosalina get into a fight because mario thinks that she wants to cheat on him with shrek and she eventually leaves i've lost a ton of weight i'm sexy yeah you are <laughs> Oh, mm. Ducky, being in this coma has completely changed my life. Mario, aren't you going to introduce me to your new friend? Well, you've met Shrek before. Why are they going to make Rose like this? this? Well, uh, uh, this is Shrek, and Shrek, this is my girlfriend, Rosalina. Hi. Oh, hey, sexy Hi. lady. And later that night, Rosalina comes back and announces that she's going on a date with Shrek. And Shrek is Rosalina's shortest ever ex-boyfriend, with them only lasting one day because they broke up at the end of the video. And the only reason that they really liked each other is because Shrek always liked Liked Rosalina and Rosalina only liked Atso's body. However, <laughs> right now they're on good terms. The next person on the list is Brad. Brad. And Brad is unemployed due to the fact that his family are the founders of the Shell gas stations chains, which benefits him just enough to where he doesn't have to work a job. And <laughs> he's portrayed as a stereotypical shirtless surfer with blonde hair and tan skin. And we can find out how they started dating and how they broke up in SML movie Jeffy Almost Drowns, which focused around Brad. The episode starts with Marvin sitting back and enjoying his day, but Rosalina. Jeffy wanted to go to the beach and eventually they do go and as Marvin and 
Rose lie down on the towel. Jeffy goes to the ocean to swim, but then he begins drowning in the ocean, and Marvin hesitates to go save him, but a surfer notices Jeffy drowning and quickly rushes to save him. And as they go to the shore, he performs CPR on Jeffy, saving his life. Rose then realizes that the surfer who saved Jeffy's life turned out to be Brad, another one of her ex-boyfriends. And wanting to thank him, Rose invites Brad to dinner, despite Marvin not wanting him to be there. Rose then explains what is with Rose and Brad and fucking ex -boyfriend? Into while she was in California at Santa Monica Pier and they went out a couple times but as usual Marvin got jealous so he decided to give Chef Pee Pee an extra $20 for him to poison the food mm. and for my favorite of all of Rosalina's ex-boyfriends is Super Big D Super and he's Big basically D. just a rival of Super D as seen in SNL movie Jeffy's Crayon when Jeffy started choking on the crayons and Rosalina called for help Super D then appears and asks Rosalina what she wants him to do to her Rosalina then tells Super D to help because Jeffy's choking on a crayon and shortly after that Super Big D appears and then they start having a fight and Super Big D calls him Super Tiny D. I saw you choking on the crayon! <laughs> okay, but what do you want me to do to you, though? Oh my god. I heard you screaming, so I came as fast as I could. And then I came here. Super Big D, what are you doing here? Wait, Super Tiny D, what are you doing here? Okay, it's Super D, alright? Get that right. Look, nobody cares. I came here because she was screaming. And when she screams like that, she's screaming for some Super Big D. And then they both explain that they were there because Rosalina was screaming and they wanted to help her. Rosalina then starts yelling at them to save Jeffy because they were too busy arguing, but Super D tells Rosalina to shut up. And after Super Big D refuses to leave, Super D challenges him to a Jesus fight. Christ. And after agreeing, they both start fighting each other. Jeffy's probably dead by now, just Mario tells them both to stop fighting, but then Super D notices the divorce paper and calls dibs, but Super Big D... Uh, Mario, you were this close to divorcing this bitch, and then you decide not to. You had the divorce papers right fucking there. You had them right there, and then you decided, nope, I want to stay with this girl. She's the love of my life. Uh, she's the sun to my day. She's the moon to my night. She's the devil in your life, actually. Wants dibs, and they start arguing again. Wait, are those divorce papers? Wait, you're getting divorced? Dibs, dibs, I got dibs. No, no, I don't want dibs. She's mine. Right. <laughs> but Super Big D stops the arguing and lets Rosalina choose if she Dude, wants to Jeffy's go long Super dead. D or Super Big D. And Rosalina responds by saying that someone needs to save Jeffy because he's still dying. And then Super D calls out another fight. Mario, and can Big you just D accepts do the favor and save Jeffy? Went out and fought in the hallway. Super Big D even said that whoever wins the fight would get Rosalina and ask. Super D to shake hands. However, Super D doesn't even shake his hand and hits him in the face. And then, after they hit the wall one too many times, they fall down the stairs. Jesus Christ, then, they're acting like little reason, kids. Super D and Super Big D got into some sort of bromance and Rosalina got neither of them. The only thing we can really assume is that Super Big D was Rosalina's ex-boyfriend after Super D, but we don't know why they broke and up. Jeffy's However, we dead. can assume it's probably for a similar reason since they're both superheroes. But let me know if I missed any of her boyfriends down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Watching, subscribe and click on this video here <sighs> so how many was that I wasn't counting so we had Randy super D super big D and D money and then Brad and then crush he missed crush I think like I'm pretty sure crush is consider her ex-boyfriend since they were in a tent together like, I don't know if they were actually together but I'm gonna say crush so that's like what six let me look through. Let me make sure I'm not missing anybody. Uh, oh, Dak. Dak, yeah. Shrek. Okay, so Super D, Super Big D, D Money, Randy, uh, Dak, uh, Brad, Crush, Shrek. That's like what, eight ex boyfriends? maybe nine and probably more probably a lot more honestly because as as the year goes on we find out that rose is what has has been has dated another dude so i won't be surprised within another month or two we find out rose dated this other guy and this other guy and this other guy i won't be surprised if rose actually had a child with a dude and didn't tell mario about it so yeah. I don't know why Mario's still with this girl. I don't. Like, they've been together for, what, seven years? 
and Rose has done nothing for him the last, like, what, five years or some shit like that. She barely did shit for him throughout the years. Besides, talk shit to him, accuses him, and doesn't support him at all. Just Jeffy, pretty much. <sighs> Mario, I'm gonna ask this for the tenth billion time. When are you gonna divorce this bitch? When? I don't know. I don't know what to say. Every time I react to a video that's about Rose or anything related to Rose, I get fucking heated. Anyways, guys, I'm done. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give this video a like. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Be sure to do so right now. Turn on notifications to be notified for any video that I upload. And I'll catch you guys later in the next one whenever I start doing that. So, if you guys enjoy, I'll catch you guys later. So, take care.